Does anyone else feel like the time is passing by too quick? So today is February 29th, and that means tomorrow is March 1st here in Washington, D.C. And since this year is what they call a leap year, where it's faster than normal, or like a leap month, I think? Or it's a leap something, and forgive me if that sounds dumb, but it just kind of made me realize, like, especially over the past like couple of weeks with like everything that I've been doing and just like work in general and just life in general and stuff like that. Does anyone else feel like the time is passing by like too quickly? Like not just now in 2024, but like life in general. And let me explain like what I mean by that. So for men at least, they say that life doesn't truly begin until you hit your 30s. Then life is significantly better than when you were in your 20s. And so as someone that's 28, I have noticed a quality increase in my life as I've gotten older, I've made new connections, I've explored new career paths, I've done new things. And for me, with that in mind, I think my life hopefully gets better the older I get, you know, all the way up to my 70s, which is like when retirement age is. But who can retire in this economy, as they say. So when it comes to men, at least, like they say, life truly begins for men when you hit your 30s. And I think it's because the way that society operates and the way that I grew up is like, for example, zero to 18, you're in high school, right? It's like you're, you're learning, you're spending time with your friends, you're growing up and you're studying. Then when you're 18, typically you get sent to college, maybe a little bit younger if you're a genius. I'm not, so I didn't have that problem. You get sent off to college and let's say you spend your early to mid twenties, like just in college, like getting a four year degree and then you graduate, you go into the workforce. So then you hit your 25s or something like that, 24, 23, right? So you get your first real job and then either three things happen. One, you get sick of everything and you're just like, whatever, I'm just gonna take a gap year and travel the world. Two, you get sick of your job and you go to grad school. Three, you continue to work until you decide to, you know, get another job or you just go, go back to school. So it's like, you spend like a decade getting an education, right? Getting a job and then working. And then I'm 28, right? And I can definitely tell you that when I looked back at when I was like 18, it honestly felt like it was yesterday, which is like the scary part. And I, you know, am so busy nowadays that I don't even see like the time go by, which is a great problem to have, I'm sure. But at the same time, it just kind of makes you wonder, like, does the rest of your life, like, does your perception of the rest of your life when it comes to time just increase? You know what I mean? Like the older that you get. So like, if I'm in my like 30s, right? Is my life gonna pass by like even faster at the same time, like with advances in technology, priorities, if you decide to start a family, all that good stuff, own a house, you know what I mean? And like, it's scary to me because like I've spoke, I've, you know, I have friends, colleagues, people that I know that are older than I am. And then they tell me like their life has like, you know, they didn't even, they didn't even realize it. And then one day they turned, you know, 35, 40, and then they have a family, kids, all that stuff. And I never really believed it when I was like younger, when I was like in my twenties or whatever, my early twenties at least. And now I'm like, I'm sitting here and I'm just like, it's already March of 2024 technically tomorrow, whatever, and I'm 28, and the first quarter of the year is almost gone. And it's just like, it goes back to like setting, you know, your New Year's resolutions and like fulfilling them and stuff like that. And I'm sticking to mine, you know, with some difficulty, but still sticking to them. And like, it just kind of makes you wonder like, where does the time go? You know, like that's why for me personally, and I don't know about you, but like, that's why for me personally, it's so important to like have things outside of work to look forward to because like it depends on whether or not, you know, you enjoy your job, your career path and stuff like that. But that's not the end all be all. Like I've said before on this channel, at least to me, you know, it's like I get certain more things out of, you know, out of work than I do like my actual work sometimes. And it's like, like, for example, last night I went to like an, an event that was like a dinner slash gala for like. Middle Eastern uh, filmmakers. It was completely unexpected, you know what I mean? And I was like, oh, that's grand, I'll go. 
And then I kept, I couldn't help but think, like, I was just like, thank God I have stuff like this to look forward to, like, out of work. Otherwise, like, you know, it'd be a completely different story. But multiply that by, like, a hundred different events spread out over, like, the course of a year, and it's already, like, March 2024. So all of this to say, like, I don't really see where the time is going. And sometimes I'm, like, so in the trenches with, like, work and, like, my creative projects and just, like, life in general. I kind of sit back and I'm like, damn. Is it really like March, 2024? You know, because like I have like plans coming up. It's like, I wanna take some vacation in May. My family wanted to do something in like November potentially for Costa Rica. But then by that time, it's like the end of the year. <laughs> and it's just like, holy crap. <laughs> like it's, it's almost gone, you know what I mean? So it's just like, that's why it's super important for me and hopefully for you by all of this with what I'm saying is to like find stuff out of work that you like take value in and then try to, you know, if you have that ambition, try to make that your full-time thing if you can, you know what I mean? Um, otherwise, you know, if you're stuck with a job that you don't necessarily like, it's kind of a little bit of a torture. So it's just like, I, I don't know, I like, I literally thought about this last night when I came back from like the dinner and I was just like, damn, dude, like, where's the time going by? You know what I mean? Like, it's like, I remember when I was 18 and I thought I had all the time in the world, right? Like, I was going to college, I was leaving the nest for the first time. And I was like, I have all, like four years is a long time. You know what I mean? Like, I just like, I remember four years being a long period of time, but at the same time, it's slowly starting to accelerate. Like, you know, it was my freshman year, my sophomore year, junior, and then senior. And then by the time I knew it, I graduated and I was like, well, damn, like <laughs> that that's over. You know what I mean? So like I went, I got my first job and then I was terrified of it, honestly. I, I just, there was a certain project manager at the first job I had that like, I saw myself, I saw a potential version of myself like, you know, 30 years down the line and I got scared and I ran away to grad school. <laughs> I just couldn't do it, dude. Like it was the wrong field. It was the wrong, it was just, I had like a panic attack or something like that because like the dude remind, like the dude, like, this is just a random person, but uh, you know, he probably, I, mean, I don't know if he's still around anymore, but like, he was like, you know, a future version of myself if you would have spent like 40 years in that field, right? Dude had a family, dude had like a fancy house or whatever. But like, he had health problems, I think. He was balding because of stress half the time. And I was just like, I was sitting there and that scared me, you know? And I was even younger at the time, so I was like in my 20s like early 20s, not 28, but like 2020, you know what I mean? And I was like, that's not gonna be me, dude. Like, that's not gonna be me. I refuse to let that be me, I'm out of here. So like, first chance I got, I ran. Straight up, I ran. Just because like, I couldn't do it. Like, I just couldn't. Well, first of all, the job sucked. <laughs> but most entry level jobs do, let's be honest, you know what I mean? And then second, I, could not see myself going down that path because like to me what mattered the most was living a life that you know I was content with and at the time I didn't even know what that was now I do sort of even a little bit more of, of a better understanding you know what I mean um but the thing was was that like I, I I don't know I just like I thought about myself 40 years in the future and I think maybe that's what scared me too I was like I can't think that far ahead I don't even know what I'm gonna wear tomorrow you know what I mean and like, I saw myself, a potential version of myself being that dude. And I was like, you know what? No, I ain't doing that. I am not doing that. That is not gonna be me. And I was so resolute with that decision that I decided to pack up and, ra and run away, not to a different state, but literally right up the road to UC Santa Barbara for my grad program. But you know, it's just like, I think about like all the events in my life, right? That have led up to this moment, like, you know, leaving Cambodia to go to California for school, my jobs and living with family. And then that was literally seven years of my life. That's why it seems so fast. Cause it, you know, that was a chapter, right? Then I moved to Maine and then that was like 10 months or something like that. And then I got the heck out of there. And then I'm in DC for like the past like year and a half or something like that, right? So like I'm coming up on two years, I think in like September or something like that, like fall of 2024 would be two years, right? And like, I have a good life here so far. You know, like um, I'm seeing results with like my Embassy Life in DC project. I like started a YouTube channel for fun and stuff like that. 
And like, I'm, you know, I'm entering my thirties. Right. And like, here's, here's the thing that scares me the most. Like I'm seeing more and more of my high school and my college friends getting married and having kids that scares me because like, I'm not married. I don't have kids. I don't want that part of my life, at least for another like 20 to 30 years, because like all the stuff that I'm doing now, I hope one day leads to a point where like, for example, I can travel half of the year, right? And like not have to work a job that I don't want to work, you know what I mean? And like do this either full time, not a YouTuber, but like, you know, part time or whatever. And then um, I could somehow integrate Embassy Life in DC, like into travel and tourism. So that could, you know, that could be pretty fun. You know what I mean? And like, I'm hoping that all the work that I'm doing with like this, and like the other projects and stuff like that. And just like, you know, if I need to cover the bills a little bit, like a part-time remote gig or something like that could be fun. That could be the dream right there. I'm hoping that all that, like all this work like leads up to that, but like two years in the future, you know what I mean? So like by the time I hit my thirties, I'm in a good place to kind of do like what I want to do. Like I'm not forced to like, well, I'm not forced to do anything. You always have a choice, but like, I don't know. I, I just hope that like all the work pays off. You know what I mean? And like, it's just like, I don't know. It's like, I'm thinking about all this stuff now. And like, I see more and more of my high school and college friends getting married. And like, literally one of my, one of my college friends like had their first kid, uh, back in, back in Jan, no February now. Cause like we're about to hit March by the time this airs. Yeah. Literally they had their first, I mean, it's not like she's older than I am. She's younger, you know, and she always wanted to be a mom. So there's that. I understand that. But for someone like me, it's like I've been on my own for so long that the concept of having a family is like very scary to me in a way because like it means that I have to be tied down in a certain place for 18 years and like, you know what I mean? So it's just like that scares me and like because you have to commit, you know what I mean? Like you don't want to be a deadbeat dad and like run away. Yeah, I don't want to be that type of dude. You know what I mean? So it's just like 18 years that goes by. That's half, that's a quarter of your life right there. Assuming life expectancy doesn't get better, the, you know, more technology progresses. Um, it's just kind of crazy that like, you know, coming from a young dude, I'm entering my thirties soon. And like, we're already a quarter of the year done. And it's like, I feel like I'm behind in a way which is dumb because like, I'm not like, I shouldn't be comparing myself to anybody and I'm making great strides with what I do here in DC. But like, I don't know, you see other people that have a house, for example, I don't have a house. I don't want to because like that, you know, I just don't want to, I've never, I wasn't like, kind of raised that way. We always like, I never really had that ambition to begin with. So it's like, if that sounds different to you, then great. But like, I've never wanted a house. I would rather like, rent out a spot for a short period of time and move on. You know what I mean? Although DC, I don't know. It could be cool to like own a condo here one day, if, especially if I want to use it as a, as a home base. But it's just like having a house, starting family, um, having your first kid. Like someone mentioned that to me at work and I'm just like, like, dude, that that's crazy. You know what I mean? It's just like you live your day-to-day -day life, but you don't realize it until you kind of sit down and you're just like, well, aside from all the routines that help the time pass by and the weeks go by, the weeks turn into months. And then, you know what I mean? Before it's just like, you're like, you're sitting down and you're like, holy crap, dude. It's like, it's March, 2024 now. And I'm like making strides slowly with like stuff that I'm doing. I'm, I'm still in good health, inshallah. Um, and just everything, but just like, I just wonder where I'll be when I'm 30, you know, like, I, I wonder where I'll be in a couple of years. Like, am I going to be working like a regular, you know, still a still regular job that am I going to like somehow be able to like make my dream come true with like, you know, a part-time remote gig and embassy life in DC and maybe a YouTube channel that I constantly improve over time, like real, you know, and I, and I travel and, um, I just, I don't know. I wonder sometimes. And I, I I know I'm not the only one that like thinks like that. You know what I mean? Like everyone has that, especially the younger, you know, my generation now, we're all, <laughs> we all question the, to quote the Sopranos, it's like, 
Um, so there, for those of you who don't know, I'm a big Sopranos fan. And um, there's a scene in the Sopranos, if you haven't watched it, where Tony Soprano, the, the main character in the film, <laughs> he's joking with a good friend of his, turns out to be a rat. Um, spoiler and stuff like that. And his son is with him. And his son is Anthony Soprano. He's like 10 years old at the time, prone to depression, <laughs> like, like father, like son. <laughs> and there's a scene where like Tony is talking to his friend and um, his, his friend is just like, go buy yourself, uh, go, go buy some candy or whatever, Anthony. And, the, and his son scurries off. And then um, his, his friend goes like, what's wrong, Tony? Like you, you see him down. And then Tony explains, um, yeah, my son, he questions the, the damn universe and everything now. And then like his friend goes, oh, like father, like son, right? <laughs> it was just so, it was so funny. Anyway, it sounded better in my head, but it's the same thing with uh, people my age now, I feel like, especially in an era where like, you know, job loyalty doesn't mean anything anymore. People apply for jobs all over the place. And, you know, you're, we're reaching a point now with like the internet and just like social media where like people can make a living online, not at first, but like with enough years of sustained effort and a dream that you want to work your way towards and stuff like that, you can do it, you know? So it's just like, I want to live that type of life one day where it's just like, I do what I can, you know, I, I do. I mentioned previously, like my dream is like to have as much creative autonomy over my life as possible, you know what I mean? And it's just like, I, I want that for me, like when I hit my 30s at least, you know? I want that type of life where it's just like, I don't know, I, I feel like if I'm living that type of life that I want, that I'm not behind anymore, you know? And like, that differs from person to person, I understand that, but like, for, for the longest of times, I have always felt like I was behind for the longest of times, no matter what I did, no matter if I got my bachelor's, if I got my master's, which is exactly what I have, you know, like uh, if I'm in DC or in New York or whatever, you know what I mean? Like even comparing myself to people that are younger than me now, it's just like, I've always felt like I was behind, you know what I mean? It's just like behind on what? Like life, money, uh, significant other, family, house, all that shit, like it doesn't even matter. It could be anything and I've always had that nagging feeling that I'm lagging behind people and that's why I kind of work as hard as I do for everything that I've had in my life and just like trying to get to a point where I can feel at peace with myself, you know what I mean? But like that's very hard for me to do because I'm not the type of person that's easily satisfied. Like even if I had the most, it, here's the irony, it's like even if I had the most perfect, let's say conditions, right? Like let's say I achieve that dream that I want to, you know what I mean? I don't have to do my day job anymore. I like can, you know, replicate enough money to like survive and stuff like that. I would still find a way to be unhappy because that's the type of person that I am. Like, you know, like that's the danger of fulfilling your dream is like you fulfill that dream and then what's the next thing? You know what I mean? So it's like, that's why like what you work on has to be like worthwhile. And then and that's why like when you, when you achieve it, you have to pivot into something else, you know? So who knows, you know what I mean? Like what that is, but. I just wonder, like, I, you know, I feel so damn behind in my life. Maybe that's the title of this video, actually. I feel, I feel behind in my life. Uh, that, that's it right there. Yeah, yeah, that's it right there. I feel behind in my life. Yeah, I like that. But anyway, it's just like, I feel so behind in my life. And then I meet people that are doing really better than me. They're either older or they're, I don't know, younger or something like that. And I kind of sit back and I'm just like, damn, like, what do I have to show for it? You know, like, yeah, I have a YouTube channel and yeah, I have a platform that, you know, focuses on embassy events and cultural events and stuff like that. But, you know, again, I don't have a house. I don't have a family. Um, what are the measures of success to you? You know what I mean? So it's just like, I don't know. It's a lot of rambling for today's video. Sorry. It's literally just like feeling that, you know, you run out of time for everything now and it's like the world is getting faster and sometimes it just kind of drives me crazy, you know, like with just like everything that happens in a day and then you just don't have time to decompress and it's just crazy because you feel behind, you know, I feel like I'm behind on everything in my life and it's like the most paradoxical thing ever, no matter how hard I work. I guess it's because I'm still like very impatient, you know what I mean? It's just like, even if I like hit monetization on YouTube and stuff like that, I would still feel behind because I see these channels with like a million, you know, 
I wish I would have done YouTube 10 years ago. Who knows? Life would have been different. You know what I mean? But like, whatever. It is what it is. But it's just like, I feel so damn behind in my life. Like, all the time. No matter what I do. And I just wonder if that's just me or if that's something that everyone, like, feels too. You know what I mean? Especially, like, the younger people my age. Like, if you're older, grand, um, no offense to you and stuff like that. But I guess it's more in relation to other people that are, like... 28 to 35 it's like for those of you that are you know 28 to 35 do you also feel like you're behind in life no matter what you do and if you don't fit in that age range whether you are younger than that or older than that do you still feel behind and does it get better if you're older answer that